Hello everyone. In this video we're going to continue our series on super elevation and civil 3D. This will be part three in the series where we dig a little bit deeper into the design criteria file. Specifically we're going to make some edits to the attainment formulas. So let's get started. So I've cleared the super elevation so I'm going to select the alignment. I'm going to go to super elevation, calculate edit, Recalculate the super just as we did in the previous video. Make sure I have my custom file here. I'm going to put 80% on the tangent of the super. So that may seem excessive, but I'll show you why in just a bit. 6% Emax finish. So if you remember from previous video, this is the table method. And it goes and looks up the transition length and puts it directly into the runoff field, 134. So for this particular maximum super elevation it found a 134 transition length and it also by the way looked up from the super elevation rate table a max or full super rate of minus 5.6 percent for this 1200 foot radius curve so it looks up t but why is transition length set to the runoff because the table is just a lot of numbers it doesn't necessarily know what it is well, that's where the formulas come in. So there's attainment formulas built into the table that control what the T is and where does it go. So the default is runoff length is going to equal T or is going to be looked up from the table. But a lot of agencies actually look up T as the total transition length, which is this value up here, and then back calculate the runoff and the runout lengths. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to modify the table for that condition, or the formulas in the table for that condition. So to do that, I'm going to flush the super elevation. Remember, we need to clear super before we make a change to the design criteria file, if we want to see it updated. Okay, so I'm going to select the alignment. I'm going to select the design criteria editor. And one note here, we are just dealing with attainment formulas, we're still within the table method. Now, if we actually wanted to do super elevation rates and transitions by formulas, those are also in here. So if you remember in our super elevation wizard, instead of picking one of the Emacs tables at the very bottom, there was a super elevation rate by formula, and then the transition length by formula was the next option. If you do that and you want to customize these formulas, they're under here. There's the super elevation rate formula you can customize and here's the transition length formula you can customize. Okay we're not doing that we're sticking with the table method but I just wanted to, sh to show you where that was in case you needed it. So back to super elevation attainment under crown roadway transition style standard. So here's where these formulas are based to control what goes where. So right now the default you can see level crown to full super which that is the runoff length. So that's a 0% outside cross slope all the way to full super. And it's just saying T. Well, T is just the table value. But what are all these variables and these types? What is all this and what does it mean? Well, I think it's in the help file. Or you can actually just go and look at this XML file in Notepad if you'd like. I'm just going to send it to Notepad. And after these very first rate tables, you get a description of what all the variables are and what all these links mean. Okay, and here is where the computations take place. In other words, what variables are used to compute these links. Okay, so we'll go back. So what I want to do here is I want the transition link T, I want T, but I want it to be from normal crown all the way to full super. So the value I find in my custom table, again, an agency would set these values to total transition. They would be a higher value than these defaults most likely. So what I'm going to do instead of level crown to full super, I'm going to do normal crown to full super is T. So I want T to be placed as the total transition. And same thing here, this is level crown to the PC or the begin of the curve. Well, actually, I want to look at the normal crown to the beginning of the curve because I'm taking this P, which is the percentage on the tangent, the 80%, times the T, and that'll take me back to normal crown from the PC or the beginning of the curve. So I modified those two values to do this. So I'm going to hit save and close. So now I'm going to super elevation calculate. Remember I had to clear the super for this to work. 
but I'm going to calculate edit. Next, next, turn off the shoulders for now. Verify we have the right XML. Emax is 6%. We're going to do 80% on the tangent. Again, again, because we're doing a total transition a T instead of just runoff T. That's why this is higher. And we hit finish. So let's take a look. You can already see a difference. Now, actually, I'll open this just for a bit. Let's see what we should get. So I'm going to go into the tables for super elevation. We already we know our rate's good. So let's go past the rate down to the transition length. We didn't change anything on the rate. So 50 miles per hour. Here's the transition length T. It's a 1,200 foot radius, and we we took the the smaller radius here, we're not interpolating. We talked about that setting in the last video. Transition length is 134, so we already determined that. Notice this doesn't know, it just knows it's a transition length. It doesn't know where to go. But that formula now told it to go, boom, here. Transition in the full length of the, the super elevation transition. So now the runoff is shorter, obviously, 86, and the runout was computed at 47. And so the 80%, the 80% is going to be from the beginning of the curve, which from here the table you can see the beginning of the curve is 543.86. So if we subtract the PC or the beginning of a curve, or if we subtract the station where the normal crown ends, which is 436.66, that's 107.2 feet, which... If you take 134 and multiply times 80%, that's precisely what you get. So you can see that it split it exactly as we described. We said take the percentage that I tell you in the wizard on tangent, that 80%, split it before the PC or the beginning of the curve. So it did that and it held the transition length as a total transition. So I hope this video has been beneficial in demystifying some of the settings within the design criteria file. Have a great day.